what's up? This is Boston on Earth, and you're watching Rock and Metal News. Yee-hoo! Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Rock and Metal News update. Get set for a new solo album from Slayer guitarist Kerry King. The album is completed, and there are some live shows booked already, and he has been working on that project since about 2019 at least. He had a recent chat with Metal Hammer, and you can check that interview out in the link in the description. He stated his debut album for the project finished in June. So far, ex-Slayer drummer Paul Bostaff confirmed as a member of the group. When asked, does the album pick up from where Slayer style left off, he stated, if I was ever to try anything different, I guess that would be the time. But no, I really have no desire to do anything different. If I wasn't in Slayer, I would be a Slayer fan. So yes, I think it's an extension of Slayer, and I think a lot of people will think it might have been the next record. I guess maybe 80% of it would have been, maybe it would have been exactly what I'm putting out on this one. In my eyes, I think it's a definite extension, a follow-up to Slayer's Repentless for sure. So that just sounds pretty good for Slayer fans. When asked how fast and extreme it gets, he stated, there's definitely some fast stuff on it. It's not the fastest thing I've ever done, but I've done some pretty fast stuff. There's definitely some Herculean speeds getting achieved on this. And uh, so that's good. And about the other end of the spectrum, if there's any kind of slower stuff, he stated, for me, the slowest one is similar in vibe to Repentless Track, When the Stillness Comes. That one came out really cool and spooky. So it looks like it's pretty diverse. Looks like Slayer fans should be happy with this. Can't wait to see who is singing on this. So stay tuned. Uh, Carrie King has booked some live shows May 9th, opening date at the Welcome to Rockville Festival in Florida, and also May 16th, Sonic Temple Art and Music Festival in Columbus. So stay tuned. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News. Thanks for tuning in.